For the past several months, San Francisco-based Lit Motors has been developing a completely enclosed, self-balancing electric two-wheeled vehicle known as the C1. So far, what the public has seen has been a full-sized fiberglass mock-up and computer animation. That changed late last month, however, when company president and C1 designer Daniel Kim informed us that there's now a proof-of-concept prototype up and running. He even provided us with video of him driving it. We paid him a visit to check the vehicle out for ourselves. So the C1, uh, it takes the romance and the efficiency of a motorcycle, and we integrate that with the safety and the comfort of a car. So it's a two-wheeled, um, self-balancing motorcycle. We use two gyros uh, that basically uh, process and or keep the vehicle upright. It's like a spinning top. Uh, they produce around uh, 1,300 foot-pounds of torque. And uh, basically, you need a baby elephant to knock the vehicle over. So-called gyro cars are nothing new, per se with experimental vehicles dating back at least as far as 1914. While none of those designs ever made it to production, Kim feels that modern electronics will allow the C1 to succeed where others have failed. Uh, over the last 100 years, basically it was all mechanically controlled. Um, so we're the first one to really kind of take technology that's been integrated to like your smartphone, uh, that's safe and reliable, but put that into a whole new class of vehicle. We can do this later. It's going to be uh, blazing fast, uh, 125 miles an hour, top speed, uh, and it'll have around 200, up to 200 miles per charge on an 8 kilowatt hour battery pack. Unfortunately, problems with the control system for the gyros meant that we didn't get the test drive we'd hoped for. This is still an early prototype, however, and Daniel continues to be passionate about where it's all headed. We're really doing our best to get an affordable vehicle um, out to the mass market. That is really our goal. Uh, so we're looking at $16,000 when we get to a scale and a $24,000 uh, for the first production run, but that's just only for a thousand units. We're not really trying to shake the, the boat too much, um, you know, but uh, it is definitely disruptive technology. Uh, if you look at context from a global standpoint, um, yeah, we're kind of in a bit of a crunch and a crisis, so uh, we should all be getting off our uh, bums and uh, trying to, you know, basically change the world because it needs it.